on, everyone? I'm just a typical average American here today to react and learn about the hardest things about living in Norway, part two. If you haven't seen part one, feel free to go check that out or stay right here in part two. That's perfectly fine as well. But in part one, we started talking about and learning about all the reasons why it can be so hard living in Norway, especially from an American's point of view. In part one, we started watching this American who was listing all of the reasons why it is so difficult living in Norway, including it is very cold. That was one of his number one complaints about living in Norway. It is very cold. I'm sure Norwegians just think we're kind of being like big babies, but here in America, I'm sorry, like we, we are kind of spoiled. We get so much pleasant weather, so much mild weather, so much more warmth through so much more of the year compared to Norway. And that would be a big adjustment for Americans to make. Norwegians are tough, man tough. And some of the other things why it's hard living in Norway, uh, <laughs> limited fast food options, <laughs> right? He was talking about how there's not a lot of fast food, which might be a big problem for a lot of Americans who might just starve to death. Honestly, uh, it can be hard to make friends. Yep. Cause Norwegians are a little different, a little more closed off. It takes a bit more trust building compared to Americans who might get kind of sad in Norway if they can't make any friends. Um, it can be dark, right? Kind of like the cold. Americans aren't used to darkness very early. That's a big difference. That's very tough. And super high gas prices, which uh, might be why a lot of Norwegians are starting to convert to electric cars. It's also good for the environment. But those were just a couple of reasons that this American was naming for why it can be difficult living and adjusting to Norway. And all these, di these are massive differences, especially for Americans. I think most Americans would have a very, very tough time as great as Norway is, as amazing as Norway is, with how beautiful it is and how great the people are and all of the social services and I don't know, just low crime. So many great things about Norway there's a lot of things that make it tough for Americans to live in Norway. And I'm excited to learn about a couple more things that are very difficult about living in Norway. So let's take a look. Reason number six, you probably should move to Norway is. Um, how expensive everything is here. Yeah, man, if you're going to move to Norway, you also better make sure you have a lot of money saved up or make sure you can get a job because I can hear, I hear it can be difficult to get a job in Norway. Is that true as a foreigner? But just on its face, uh, how expensive everything is. He was talking about the gas prices being like 10 or $20 a gallon or something crazy, like so much higher than America. It just seems like everything in Norway is more expensive. Is that because Norwegians earn more money on average or why is that that would be very tough that'd be a very tough thing to live in Norway you're just if you're not earning more money you're you're really paying a lot to try to survive it's expensive Norway is an expensive country y'all yeah I'm pretty sure Norway is like the top three richest country in the world right me if I'm wrong right right, and right obviously the economy has to adjust for that like everything as simple as a grocery store visit it's gonna run you some serious money like is that, is it as simple as that? Norway, Norway and Norwegians has a really, really strong economy. People earn a lot of money. Therefore, just because of supply and demand, things cost more money because Norwegians can afford to pay more. Is it just a, a business thing? Like every time you go into a grocery store, to be honest, you're gonna, you're gonna spend some money. Even if you get some snacks, it don't matter <laughs> what you get. Wow. Um, it's gonna be expensive. Huh. Property, houses are expensive. Rent is expensive. Mm. Food is expensive. Gas is expensive. Cars are expensive. Wow. Everything is more expensive here. Not, nothing is cheaper. So if you're trying to live somewhere <laughs> where it's... <laughs> it's, just, it's just funny how uh, serious he's taking this. He's like, nothing is cheaper. Everything is more expensive. It's like, okay, wow, okay. Cheap or affordable, Norway is not the place. Even Norwegian citizens who get paid for the economy here, 
yeah. are still complaining about the prices because they're wow. saying they still don't get paid enough for how expensive things are getting here. So wow, even some Norwegians are like, it's expensive here. Like, wow, I... Norway is one of the richest com countries in the world. I think that's, that's pretty much why. So if you do move to Norway, make sure you bring the guala. <laughs> Reason number seven why you probably shouldn't move to Norway. Okay. If you are not an outdoor person, ah, so if you live in Norway, it's very good if you are an outdoor person. This one makes a ton of sense to me. And uh, I think a lot of Americans, <laughs> this is funny. A lot of Americans are not the most outdoor people. Americans like to be indoors. We like to watch television. We like to watch YouTube. <laughs> I like to watch YouTube. Uh, play video games. Like, Americans are not known for being the most active. And I think Norway and Norwegians are known for being very healthy and very active. Skiing, hiking, all this beautiful outdoor geography for Norwegians to take advantage of. Cabins, going out into the wilderness. So if you're, if you're living in Norway, that's the culture you're going to be living in. So you bet you should like and you should be an outdoor person. It makes sense. It makes sense. If you just like staying inside, Norway is not the country for you. As you can tell, this country, like all of its beauty, is outside, y'all. Yeah. You have to be outside. Yeah. And a lot of people would probably say that this country is boring if they didn't go outside or if they didn't like going outside. But the thing about this country is to really, truly enjoy it and to, and to get the full experience and the full beauty, you got to be out here, man. Like Norway. Yeah, totally. Oh, my gosh. What a shame that would be to go to Norway which is literally famous for its mountains and fjords and islands and it's a like amazing landscape. Imagine going to Norway and not being an outdoor person. You just sit inside and you don't even see Norway. <laughs> that, that would be a travesty. That would be terrible, yeah. It's the most beautiful country I've ever been in and all the activities that are fun out here to me or outside. Yeah. Hiking, skiing, snowboarding, just yeah. everything. Um, if you want to go in the water, water rafting, yeah. uh, lakes. I, I, it's also, I'm looking at him and it's like winter and cold. Norwegians, do Norwegians get outside during the winter and cold? I mean, you must because that's such a large part of the climate in Norway. Uh, so I guess Norwegians get very used to cold weather and nice weather and getting outside to... Like, not get all depressed, and because if you if you don't like the cold or snow or outdoors, you're just sitting inside all day, and that, that'd be kind of sad. Fishing, ice fishing, just everything out here um, to do is in nature. Yeah. Um, and if you don't like being outside, then Norway is definitely not the place for you. All right. Yeah, because in America, a lot of things are inside. You go somewhere to eat. You go to the movies. Like, a, a lot of Americans plan their day about doing indoor activities, and that's pretty normal. Or, don't leave the house at all, and don't get, aren't that active, especially compared to Norway. So, yeah, this is probably why Norwegians are also a lot, like, healthier and more active. It's, it's, it's really nice, honestly, to hear. So the eighth reason why you probably should move to Norway is the culture slash manner difference. The culture slash manner difference. I'm not exactly sure what culture or manner differences he's talking about. Um, I know Norwegians are much more respectful, like don't invade each other's personal space. Norwegians don't just walk up to each other and bug each other and do small talk. Or Norwegians are very straightforward and honest. And that's all very, very different from America. So I think just in general, Americans would have a very difficult time with all the cultural differences, the attitude, the behavior differences between Norway and America, especially if you're an American that's very, very outgoing and likes to talk and you like to bug people and you like to do have conversations about nothing and be friendly. It'd probably be way, way too much for Norwegians and you'd be you'd be seen as annoying. And so that, that wouldn't be a good situation. Maybe you're just not meant to be in Norway. The culture just doesn't align with you. But I think for a lot of people, uh, myself included, Norwegian culture 
is very pleasant, very nice, much more calm down, like low key, respectful. I like it. So in America, if you're from America, um, it's normal when you're passing by someone like pretty closely to say excuse me or to say like, oh, I'm sorry, like I'm getting by or whatever, whatever. Yeah. Out here, I noticed, to be honest, they kind of just like go by you. Huh. Like they'll kind of brush you. They don't say sorry. It's kind of just, this is kind of how it's been for me, at least. Huh. I'm not sure if that's how every Norwegian is. I know Inchen means. Interesting. Yeah, maybe that's a Norwegian thing as well. Like, that's a good example of something that's really small. Seems small, but it's significant. Like, it shows how much we talk to each other in America. If you're trying to get by somebody, if you're getting close to somebody, you say something. You acknowledge the situation where maybe Norwegians just prefer to go about their day. Like, everyone understands we're just gonna go by each other and we don't have to say anything and it's all fine. It is different. It's, it's different. like, um, excuse me, I'm pretty sure, but I haven't really heard a lot of that. <laughs> so don't take it the wrong way if someone kind of brushes you in a store or in a hallway or something like that when they're trying to get by you. They don't okay. mean any harm by it. It's just kind of just how it is for them. Yeah. And another thing when it comes to like culture shock or culture, in America okay. it's normal to see a stranger and be like, hey, hello, how you doing? <laughs> and they'll be like, hello, I'm doing good, how are you? And blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But in Norway, that is not normal, y'all. So do not go up to a stranger and ask them how you're doing. People like exactly. I think there's a lot of Americans that would struggle with this. They would have a diffic difficult time in Norway because there's a lot of Americans that have grown up their entire life being very social with, with strangers. Americans enjoy saying things to strangers and invading personal space and being outgoing. And a lot of Amer Americans really do like that. And that really doesn't have a place in Norwegian culture. I know that would be seen as just rude. It'd be too much. It'd be uncomfortable. So that that's a pretty important difference. I hear do not like talking to strangers, y'all. It's not like America. Everywhere's not like America. Um, <laughs> right. Don't take it the wrong way, but that's just how it is out here. Right. But from what I've heard, the only time it actually is okay to talk to strangers is when you're hiking. That's what I heard. That's what I've heard as well. That's so funny. <laughs> It's okay in Norway to talk to strangers as long as you're hiking. I guess because you're in nature and everyone is there for the same reason and it's a very friendly, like, environment. In America, it, it's almost the opposite. If you're in a really secluded place in the middle of nowhere, it, Americans could get very uncomfortable because we, we do not trust each other very much. There's not a lot of trust. So if you're in the middle of a hike... It might be best not to say something. Uh, it, it could come across as a little weird. So that's something I've noticed that's kind of funny. It's kind of the reverse of what you would think. <laughs> Believe it or not, when you're going on a hike, that's when a lot of the Norwegians like to socialize with strangers. Huh. I know it sounds, I know it sounds weird yeah. if you're not from Norway or you don't know anything about Norway. Yeah. But that's how it is. What, what is so special about the hike? Why is that the, that's like the magical moment, the magic place where it's okay to talk to strangers. Why, why is it suddenly okay on a hike? I wonder why that is. The ninth reason why you probably shouldn't move out here is. Norway does not have drive throughs Norway doesn't have drive throughs I don't, <laughs> I didn't mean to get so worked up, but maybe this is the American in me, but there's no drive throughs he talked about how there's not a lot of fast food. Okay, I can live with that. There's not as much fast food in Norway. Fine. It's probably a good thing. But not, no drive throughs Americans love drive throughs I love drive throughs They're so convenient. Is this just because Americans are so lazy? I didn't think this was an American thing, drive throughs where you pull up in your car, at a restaurant or fast food, a lot of a lot of places do drive through in America. A lot, not just fast food. A lot of restaurants. You drive up to the window, pick up your food, and you go. It's very nice. What is this? Not a thing in Norway? What? What? <laughs> they don't really have drive-throughs, and this point right here is probably just for my Americans, because we're used to having a drive-through for everything. Banks, yeah. pharmacies, every food place has a drive-thru. Exactly. I mean, that's a great point. 
our bank. You can drive. You don't have to get out of your car at a bank or a pharmacy. Totally normal in America. And it's actually something I really, I really like it about America. Like, okay, call me lazy, but I want to pick up, <laughs> I want to pick up, I want to go to the bank and not have to get out of my car. I like that. <laughs> out here, your butt is parking that car and getting out and going inside because huh. they don't have drive through for Starbucks and uh, most of their restaurants and places to get food, you have to go inside. Wow. And that's just how it is. No drive through for Starbucks. Wow, that would be like a national disaster in America if there was no drive through at Starbucks. I don't go to Starbucks, but whenever I pass it, it's there's a line of cars uh, like a mile long. It is it makes them so much money like drive throughs make Americans so much money, American businesses. So I don't know. It's kind of nice thinking about. In Norway, you have to park, you have to get out of your car, you have to be, like, real, social. You have to go in person, inside, and actually do a little work. You have to feel something, which is nice, but we're a bit lazy here. And <laughs> this would be this would be a tough one. This would be difficult for a lot of Americans to, to be okay with. Hmm. Huh. Uh. So basically what I'm saying is if you're lazy, don't move here. Yeah. And the tenth and <laughs> final reason why you probably shouldn't move to Norway is... Okay, the final one is missing all of your loved ones. Okay. This, this isn't really a Norway thing. Norway is pretty far from the United States, but if you go anywhere in the world, if you leave your home and go anywhere in the world, you're gonna be uh, separated from your family and loved ones and... That's just kind of the price you pay to travel and experience the world. But yeah, th this would be hard on some people if they were to, Americans were to go to Norway. Missing your loved ones. Yeah. You're going to miss your family and you're going to miss your friends. Yeah. I feel like that's just how it is if you move anywhere. But, but I had to put that in here because if you're from America, where I'm from, you're going to be 5,000 miles away from your family and from your friends. Yeah. So if you... Norway is far away. Uh, it's nice that... We live in a day and an age where we have a lot of electronics. You can do a FaceTime or a phone call or a Zoom call. You can see your loved ones using your phone or internet, which is nice. That, that's nice that that's a thing. It makes it a bit easier. If you have a hard time being away from family or friends, Norway or anywhere away from America, it's probably not a good place to move to. <laughs> but it's 2022 and FaceTime, message, Skype, whatever you have to do to be in contact with your friends and family yep. has helped me a lot. I yeah, like Americans have a tough time like when you when an American moves to another state in the United States, that can get you hours away from your family moving to another state. Even though you're in the United States, that can seem really far from home. Uh, the U.S. is very, very big. But moving to Europe or Norway or something, that, that would feel like you are, you're literally across the world. That makes sense, because you are. You're across the world. You're, you are far away. So, yeah. I FaceTime my family every single day, and um, that's helped me get through it. Um, obviously, yeah. you're going to miss your family no matter what, no matter where you move to. But being this far away from family, um, it's hard. It's hard for everybody. But um, you... it's also a little different because if you if you travel to like Mexico or Canada or something, you're at least close to the United States. You feel like, OK, I'm, I, I could fly back home quickly or drive even even drive. But uh, if you're in Norway, you are a long way from the United States. You're a long way. Yeah. So it's a bit different. You've got to get used to it. I mean, hey, you signed up for this. No one else moved you out here. You moved here so um you just have to adapt you just have to um adjust your surroundings and just uh yeah. get used to it and thank god for technology now so now you can facetime and do whatever you have to do to stay in contact right um with your loved ones right and that helps a lot right, but yeah man that's gonna do it for the 10 reasons why yeah there's probably a lot more people like foreigners going to norway now than probably ever before because of technology because they can call home that probably has helped 
Well, that was really good. That was fascinating. That was by Quentin, and I got to give that video a like. That was really, really insightful. These were really, really true. Uh, these are 11 reasons why it is difficult to live in Norway, especially as an American. I could relate to all of these. Man, Americans, I never even thought about this before. How much did, because I only learn about and think about how amazing Norway is, and it is amazing, and it is great, but there's also a lot of things that are tough, tough living in Norway, like the cold, the <laughs> no fast food, uh, more difficult to make friends, it's darker out, it's another language, everything's more expensive, uh, the culture and the manners are different, yep, um, there's no drive throughs oh my gosh, no drive throughs I forgot about that. That is, <laughs> and you'd be missing your loved ones. Those were, I totally, absolutely agree with these, but it's just really interesting. I guess no matter where you live in the world, uh, if you're going to an entirely different culture, an entirely different country, there's going to be some adapting that you need to do. And this is, Norway seems to be even a bit more extreme uh, with how much adapting Americans need to do to kind of get comfortable and acclimated. So this was really interesting to think about, and I enjoyed this quite a bit. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment, perhaps with what do you think is one of the hardest things about living in Norway. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway and Norwegian culture, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching, and see you next time.